a good amount of happening spaces, so that should be alright. But anyways, it's still early. Still got a long way to go in this game. Okay, Luigi's gonna try again the lottery shop here. And get the second prize. He got 30 coins. Better than the first prize, because that would have given him the coin star right there. Coin star lead. Okay, 60, um, 84 is current record right now. Oh, wait a minute. I sure don't know what's going to happen, because, um, look where Luigi's going, and look where the star is. Yeah! Luigi... Basically, use Buzzar over here and take him to this next star here. And before we do, we got a battle game. Twenty coins. That's gonna be okay. Seventy-six. And we got the other new one. Okay, this is. Whoops, my bad. Okay, this is Butterfly Blitz as the game case went to the floor. Okay, this is basically a butterfly collecting game. You gotta try to collect the most butterflies, and the person that do that will, win, will uh, of course, win. And the point values range from the type of butterfly you get. Blue but okay, the normal yellow butterflies, you only get one point. Red butterflies, two points, but the blue butterflies are worth three points, so. Try to get a lot of big ones. You can use the A or B buttons to determine the swing of your net. You can push B and swing it sideways. A button to swing it up and down. This is actually another easy game, but uh, but the butterflies can actually be a pain in the butt sometimes. Come on, get this blue one. Come on. Okay, there we go, I got it. Okay, I caught a fair amount of butterflies, but let's see what we got here. So here we go, yeah, the yellow butterflies, one point. Okay, the red butterflies are two points, and blue butterflies are worth three. Dang it! Luigi actually got a couple more points more than I did. Well, four more points more than I did. And that's not good, because I think that, I think he just won the minigame star. Or just got the minigame star. 53, I think so. And that's gonna, let's see. Yes, it did, 103, so that's a new record. And plus he's going to the next star and have a star in his belt. And, that's something I can't, just don't want, don't want to happen. Something I don't, can't live with. But, wish I can still catch up as a peach by the blues crystal ball. Let's see. All I want on a happening space, this will help me for the happening star. Yeah, fun wish again. But let's see what the shy guy says. If he likes my wish. Okay, he likes it. Okay. Okay, two versus two. We got oh, reverse bomb. Okay, last time uh, my partner screwed this up for me last time, so let's try this again. So who's my partner? Okay, Luigi is so. So let's do this, Luigi. Now, my advice to you is to stay on your side of the buttons and let your partner do his side. That way, you can actually do this a little bit more easier. See, look at that. We're already, we're already doing pretty good. That's because I had Daisy on my team last time, and this time I have Luigi, so. So there we go, Luigi. Good job. 113, which that, that, <laughs> that just gave him more coins, but, um, he's gonna buy a star, though, and that will give me a, ch a chance to try to get to that lead, which is 113. 
And plus, try to come back in the minigame, so because DK's been mostly dominating in. Okay, I was gonna say, this is rare because you normally don't see a, a pure player pass a lottery shot, and then I realize uh, DK doesn't have five coins, so he can't actually go in a lottery shot. Okay, Luigi, that gets his first star. Okay, where's the next one at? It's right over there. Hey, you gotta be kidding me! Luigi just bought himself a magic round, and now he can get star number two for him. Ain't right, that nice. Now I'm definitely gonna have to get get to 113, because Quite possibly next turn he's gonna use the magic lamp. And Peach is gonna use her boost crystal ball to steal coins from me. Okay, how many did you take? 21 like last time. That's really gonna set me back. Thank you, Peach! Okay, I'm not threatened yet. Let's see what turn. Okay, we're only on the last 10 turns. And what you know, we get a battle game. What the frig? There better be something good here. You know, for the fourth time in this board, we're going to do some rumble fishing. Because, like I said, I am not going to do Pass Apparel. So, let's try this again. And there we go! 141 coins for up for grabs, and... We didn't get the same order as we did the last first three times. I can now officially say that uh, the minigame we played the most so far is uh, Rumble Fishing, because... We got it four times, and I don't think... Most of the mini games we played, the, either the four, one versus three, two versus two, were either just twice at most. But rumble fishing, we played it four times, and it's all on one board. And I just got the coin star lead. Thank goodness. Okay. Order up. Oh come on. We haven't played dungeon duos yet, and that's actually a pretty fun, pretty fun mini game. But we'll go fill people's orders. Food. Okay, I know the coin dogs are next to each other. And I'm gonna be right in front of it. Come on, give me a coin dog. No, two hamburgers. And me and DK got around the first try here. Okay, the drinks are to get together. You know, I wonder who would order two cheeseburgers. Okay, fries and a coin dog. Okay, DK has found that pretty easy. Okay, the fries are next to each other. Okay, I know more fries than the ice cream are, so... Okay, speaking of ice cream... Well, DK did most of the work there, so... <laughs> you know, or cheese too. Well, they have the, uh... Two cheeseburger meal at McDonald's, though. Which you get two... And my dog is going crazy, so I do apologize for that. Probably barking at somebody outside or something. But anyways, uh, like I said, the McDonald's, they have like the two cheeseburger meal. Where you can get two cheeseburgers and feel the order fries and a drink. If you want to, so. On the menu, so. Mainly what I get there at McDonald's is the McChicken. The chickens are pretty good, so. So yeah, we won't actually get, I'm actually going to go into a big rant about fast food. Because I haven't done the segment where I haven't talked about anything, what's been going on and stuff. Really nothing ain't been going on in the Let's Play world. Uh, Sean Kirby doing his two projects, same with Shadow Mario 41. And Crystal Studios, not going on interest in there. But anyways, um, what we got? Okay, the Great Deflay, I didn't see what main game we got there for a minute. I swear, I wish I had Luigi or Peach on my team instead of DK, cause he's been he's been winning mini games and 
Him, Team of Venom 2 vs. 2 is helping them actually. And we blew that away. There we go. 146. Thank you, Rumble Fishing. I mean, no, I'm not big, big in fishing though. But uh, in this in this game, yeah, it's, it's just easy. You just gotta as soon as your control app, just press the A button. Now, if you have it off, an exclamation point will appear on the screen, and that can actually be kind of hard. So I suggest having a what the frig? No, well, we could get a second star, but not by of a magic lamp. But a stupid hidden block, and he can actually get three stars via the magic lamp. Oh god, of course we gotta have the hidden blocks. Really, Mario Party people? Okay, well, uh, nothing's going for Luigi right now. He hasn't been winning that many mini games. I mean, he's won some, a couple, mainly because, uh, he was on a team with me, with me in the two versus two. And I can actually use my little mini mushroom, but that's alright. Now we're gonna play one versus three. Let's see what we got. Pop or pop? Have we played this one yet? No, we haven't. This is a new one. Okay, basically in this mini game, three 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 opponents will be in the little normal. Bouncy balls while the one plays in this big spike ball. Now the goal for the one team of one is to pop the uh, is to pop all three of the three of his uh, rivals to win. And here are the controls for the team of three. You uh, choose your control change direction and press A to jump. Now for the team of one, which is me, the one player you just gotta move and just jump like that to get somebody in the air. So I think you get P trap oh, right here. There we go, I got her. This game is pretty, actually pretty easy. Doesn't matter what team you're on. But sometimes when you're on a team of three, you can actually get cornered, so that can actually be a bad thing, so. You know, I'm debating whether or not to still at least one of Luigi's stars. I mean, I could be on the safe side. I might do that if I can ever get the boo here, so. I mean, the only time I steal a star is if when I'm actually behind and I have a big enough point star lead where nobody can beat it, so... Yeah, that's when I normally would steal stars, because... If you steal a star from Boo, you have to pay up 50 coins, so that's... That's a big expense. And Luigi here used Buzzard to get some coins here. So he can actually use his magic lamp next turn and get his third star. You talk about incredibly lucky with the Ouija here. <laughs> he is lucky. Okay, where's the Okay, what's Peach gonna do? Oh wait a minute, don't tell me. My god, what's with the magic lamps? Peach just bought herself one. <laughs> Oh wow. Magic lamp. Hey wait a minute, maybe I can buy magic lamp here at the item shop. That's what exactly I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy me a magic lamp. <laughs> There's gonna be a long turn next turn, but oh well. Everybody using the magic lamps. So yeah, you can see more of the fat genie for now. And we got a new mini game. I do believe so we'll finish. Yes we do. This is basically like a little puzzle game, you gotta put a puzzle together. And um, the first person to put the puzzle together wins. Now you gotta use the L and R buttons here. The L and buttons to flip the pieces because some of the pieces will be upside down. And um, yeah. Oh dang it, who won that? Luigi! 
Yeah, I'm not that fast this 